Hey everybody, Lawrence Michael, Operations Manager for Air Quality Remediation, making a update video for uh, the AC unit cleanings and ductwork cleanings that we're doing at a courthouse. I made a video uh, a couple days ago when we were doing the return ductwork for one of the units, and I'll be sure to go back and show you uh, what that return ductwork looks like when it's finished. Um, but we're starting a new unit and I wanted to kind of give you a look at the, the progress that we go through when we're first starting a unit and then first starting the return and supply duct work when we're getting set up. Uh, so our technicians here have all the doors for the AC units opened up and they're working on getting it cleaned out. All the filters have been pulled out. So you can see these filters are supposed to be blue, but this obviously isn't a clean filter. So it's definitely time to change those filters. This part of the unit's already been vacuumed, so HEPA vacuumed and then sanitized with a, a special cleaner and antimicrobial solution for air conditioning units. It's called BBJ. And then I wanted to give you a look here. These are called access doors. These access doors allow us to, just what they say, access inside the ductwork. So if we take a look inside, these are called turning vanes. Whenever the ductwork makes a 90 degree turn, there'll be turning vanes inside the ductwork. It just helps that airflow to make that 90 degree turn. But as you can see, they get pretty dirty because uh, the dust and dirt tends to build up on these as it's going through the turning vanes themselves. But I did kind of want to give you a look at what an access door looks like once it's completed. So it looks like that. The cam closes everything down. And then down here, not only can we see that it's really dirty and has a lot of build up and dust and dirt and bugs and everything else. Here's another example of some more turning vanes in here. Like I said, wherever there's a 90 degree turn, there'll be turning vanes there. But we can see spider webs inside. And dust and dirt inside. And so this, I had our supervisor leave this one halfway done so I could show you for the video. Uh, so this access door that's complete and sealed up and closed, we'll still have to go inside to clean. but. So the access door here, we cut a hole inside the ductwork and then push this frame of the access door in and it has these little sheet metal fingers that bend down and close and it holds it tight to the ductwork and you go all the way around and close these fingers down and it seals it to the ductwork and then you close the door close this cam, caulk around the edges, and then re-insulate around the edges as well. The door themselves are insulated, so you don't have to insulate over top of the door, but you do have to insulate up to the door. So if we go around, this is another air conditioning unit that we'll be doing next. But I also wanted to give you a look at what the ductwork looks like before the access hole gets, or the access door gets installed. So here we can see the hole has been cut, so we cut the insulation back and then cut a hole in the ductwork with either nibblers or uh, electric shears. And again, more turning vanes because it makes a 90 degree turn. More dust and dirt build up. Sorry, my flashlight seems to be having an issue. That's okay. And then, so once the insulation's been cut and the ductwork itself has been cut with either nibblers or electric shears, this is the sheet metal piece that comes out. All we do is mark the square so we measure what size door we're going to use, mark it with a marker, then use a unibit or a step bit, some people call it, to drill a hole in the corner of where we're going to cut and then use nibblers or electric shears to go around and cut the perimeter of the of the door itself. And then here's an example of that frame. 
So this removable access frame with those fingers that get bent down to lock the door, the frame in place. And then the insulated door goes on top. Just like we saw on the other side, these cams close down and it gets sealed up. So again, just a quick video. I uh, just wanted to give you a look at how we install access doors, how we actually gain access to the ductwork in order to clean it, how we gain access to the air conditioning units themselves to clean it. Uh, this is our collector here for the ductwork that we otherwise can't physically get into. So I guess I might as well touch on that real quick. Ductwork that we can't get into because the size is too small uh, that we can't physically get inside, but it is too long for us to just put an access door in and reach inside. We have to use a whip system and a collector to be able to pull that dust and dirt out of that small ductwork. So the main is usually pretty big, but all the branches that come off of that main are usually uh, quite a bit smaller. So a lot of times we have to use this whip system to be able to get the dust and dirt out of that. So um, maybe I'll make a video on us whipping so you can see what that looks like as well. So just another educational video uh, showing you some stuff that most people don't get to see. Uh, obviously this is a nighttime gig. Most people never get to see what the inside of a, a big commercial air conditioning unit looks like or what the inside of ductwork looks like. So if you like these videos, definitely like it, share it, um, comment on it. If you have any questions or concerns or uh, any indoor air quality concerns at your residential or commercial property, Definitely give us a call. Check us out on all of our social media platforms. Uh, check out our website. Uh, we're on call 24 hours a day, so you can always give us a call. Um, other than that, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next video.